Oh, mama. Hey, welcome back to another Big Meat Sunday. Uh, today I've been motivated. Uh, Greg over at Ballistic Barbecue is doing a contest with some insanely generous prizes, and I'd be fooled not to enter that contest. So this recipe is for Greg over at Ballistic Barbecue. Uh, if you don't know him, um, that's SD4547. I'll put the uh, name here and link down in the description box. And uh, go ahead and check him out. And if there's still time left for you guys, uh, you should enter this contest as well. So Greg asked us, basically, uh, he wants us to grill a hamburger. Uh, it doesn't have to be a hamburger, it can be pretty much anything you want as long as you can grind it up and make a patty out of it and cook it on a barbecue. So today, uh, for Greg, I'm going to be making what I'm going to be calling a all-American breakfast burger. And basically it's going to consist of all the things that I love to eat as an American for breakfast. Uh, you name it. Think of everything American for breakfast, and uh, it might be included in this hamburger. Uh, it's going to be great. So uh, basically, what I'm going to do is uh, get all my ingredients out. I've done a lot of prep work ahead of time because he does have a limit on this uh, contest video. It can only be 15 minutes, and if you know my channel, I tend to get a little windy. So uh, let's get to it. Let me get my ingredients out and uh, show you what I've done thus far. What you see before you is going to be breakfast. Uh, breakfast burger that is. Uh, we have a patty here and actually I had to write this down so uh, everybody can get the pronunciation correct. Uh, basically this burger consists of bacon, bison, beef and sausage and I'm going to call this bakes and cowsage. Can you see that? Bakes and cowsage. So basically what I did was uh, I rendered the bacon uh, very slowly, uh, slow and low, and uh, then ground it up and added it to the bison, which was already ground, and the sausage, and also a little bit of hamburger. I think there was about a half a pound of each in there uh, to begin with. So uh, we got, this is only uh, one of two patties though. And on that, we're going to make two other patties of, uh, this O'Brien hash brown potatoes that I've uh, just taken and diced some red bell pepper, some green bell pepper, and just some green onion in there. And then uh, I shredded the potato. Uh, I did use Yukon Gold potatoes uh, because they are a little more starchy, I think, than uh, most other potatoes. So using those, and I also added a little bit of egg in there to kind of hold it together and just seasoned it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Uh, we're also going to fry a couple of eggs because breakfast would not be complete without a couple of huevos and uh, for the bun actually we're going to use a gigantic biscuit <laughs> yeah and uh, you're thinking okay biscuits and yes that's coming you know what I'm talking about. No breakfast is complete without a little bit of OJ. So uh, I'm going to have my OJ and we'll get cooking. All right, I just put a couple of pads of butter in a couple of fry pans over there. Uh, I did reserve some grease left over from cooking the bacon. And what we're going to do is uh, get that butter all melted and uh, make sure not to burn it. And I'm going to make a couple of real quick uh, patties out of uh, our potatoes here and uh, basically we're going to just take these patties and uh, try to get them as thin as we can and then when we're done with them what we're going to do is uh, put them on our burger and uh, basically we want to just cook them till they're nice and toasty on both sides and uh, they're going to be wonderful nice and crispy on the outside perfect on the inside. So I'm getting ready to uh, flip these guys over. And they look fantastic. Oh yeah, these are nice. So yeah, this one's even toastier. Yeah, very nice. You can almost taste that. All right, looks like the potatoes are finished. So I'm just gonna grab a plate and Look at these guys. That's perfection if you ask me. Right now, 
more butter get the eggs going still waiting for the oven to preheat taking forever and then you might have noticed there's an extra pan back there what am i going to do here well that's the best part of the whole recipe remember it's the all american breakfast so we're going to take a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper throw them in our eggs and we'll get that mixed up we're also going to uh, make a little bit of butter here a little more butter <laughs> this plop her in the pot over here in your uh, frying pan that is and get that going and i'm gonna add a little bit of milk to this because that's the way i roll mm -hmm. that's good What I'm looking for here is just one big kind of egg patty, if you will. Uh, so trying to uh, make an omelet almost, I like this. Uh, now I'll probably just flip this thing over once and uh, let the rest of that go, let the rest of that go, let the rest of that go. Just like that. And uh, that egg will be done. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the oven off right now because uh, I don't like overcooked eggs. They tend to taste like aluminum, if you know what I'm saying. We're gonna uh, get the bison on, the or the, uh, let's see, the bakes and cowsage, that is. Get that on the grill. And we're gonna put the uh, biscuit in the oven. We're getting real close, guys. All right, let's get these guys on the grill here. Look at these big old burgers right like that. Look at that. Get them a little rotate. Get some grill marks on them. So kind of large. We're on a roll them like that. So they don't fall apart. And Bakes and cowsage right there. Screams all American burger. Let these go a little longer. All right, we're done. After long last, the American breakfast burger made from bakes and cowsage. Remember the bakes and cowsage? This is how we're going to work it. We got our patties, our cheese, potatoes. We got the egg, and uh, that's how it's gonna work. We're gonna take our biscuit, <laughs> the biggest biscuit ever, and we're gonna take some of this awesome gravy on both sides. Get that worked in there. And this is uh, basically your brunch time heart attack burger. <laughs> Look at this. God, it looks good. Uh, I'm going to take our egg. Oh, wait a minute. I want to cheese it up here. A little more cheese. And we're going to take our egg. And I don't have a uh, serving utensil, so I'm just going to slide her on in. Yeah. And then our patty. Pardon my fingers, y'all. And then one of our crispy guys. And the bun. Bun it up. Damn. Check that out. That looks like a breakfast burger to me. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think it needs more gravy. So... I'm going to take this part off mm. and slop some more gravy on that meat. Darn it, spilled a little. That looks proper. If it isn't oozing, 
It's, it's broken. Mm. So, uh, get me a knife here. That looks like a good knife. And uh, I guess I'm going to try to cut this and eat it. Oh man, this looks so good. Look at this thing. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, instead of embarrassing myself trying to uh, stick that, that ridiculously large thing in my mouth, I'm going to uh, just take a stab at it like this. Oh, mama. <laughs> yeah. Holy, holy smokes. Oh, the crispy, and then the more crispy. Oh, I need another one of these. One second, please. This is incredible. I don't know that uh, you could pick this up and eat it safely. I suppose on a much smaller level, it's definitely possible. But uh, bakes and cowsage, man, you got to try bakes and cowsage. Uh, it's amazing. I'm blown away. Uh, this is probably one of the best things I've ever eaten in my entire life. And uh, Greg, I hope this qualifies for your contest. The all-American breakfast burger made with bakes and cowsage. Everything an American should enjoy. You got your eggs, you got your hash browns, you got your bison, bacon sausage burger, and a biscuit. How could you not like that? All right, Ballistic Barbecue. Hope this qualifies for your contest. Uh, thanks again for your generosity. Some of your prizes are just blown away, crazy, awesome, uh, generous, for lack of a better word. So, uh, one California boy to another. Thanks for your contest and uh, all my subs and all the people watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Take care. Man, glad that show's over. That was tough. Mm-hmm.